our day from a little old mom. What's a reading nook? I want one. Hey guys, I'm Tay from Millennial Moms, and we have Landon and Briley. <laughs> and today we're talking about how to get your kids to read more. So we wanted to show you a DIY reading nook that we did in their bedroom. So before we get started on the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and like. Let's go. Alrighty guys, find a nook somewhere in your house that could be just a little open space on a wall. We grabbed a dog bed from Marshalls, a couple little knickknacks from the thrift store like this cute frame holder, some wrapping paper I got at Marshalls in the color of the girl's room, and then I just had at it with some of these cute ideas like this cardboard that you can get at the dollar store actually and it's just a foam board you can get it at any craft store if you don't have a dollar store nearby i just traced out the word read in four different letters um since that is how you spell read and i just you can see that it took me a second to get the r correct so don't fret if you're not perfect at it just keep drawing until you get it right because we're gonna cover it up with scrapbooking paper. I love scrapbooking paper because you can usually get it for about 20 cents a piece and you can get all the cute designs. Hobby Lobby has a great selection, so does Joann's and Michael's. Then we're just gonna use some Mod Podge to attach that to the front of the letter. It's really, really simple. Um, if it's not perfect, don't worry because once we get it all stuck on, we're just gonna go ahead and trim off all the little excess. You could print out letters and trace them if you wanted them to be perfect. So then I'm just going to use one inch strips from the remainder of the paper and I'm just gonna slowly hot glue about two inches at a time around the outside. I thought this would be a lot harder than it was, but it turned out to be really simple and it's really sturdy and it makes it look like you bought those cute letters from the craft store for like five dollars a piece but you didn't you made them out of scrapbooking paper and foam from the dollar store then i'm just attaching some cute ribbon and turning some flowers into clothespins so i can clothespins no those are called thumbtacks to me come on you're supposed to be a master crafter then i'm just going to use a piece of fabric and some hot glue to create this cute little pillow for decoration um you just want your reading nook to be real bright and colorful and inviting yes that is what you want it to be inviting you want these kids to look at it and go mm, I want to read a book today so yeah that's about it just turn that pillow right side in it's just basically like sewing a pillow and all that good stuff so just put your letters on the wall and let it be all decorative and cute it's that simple all right, we're here every Tuesday. Don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss us. Check out Jamie's video yesterday and all the other moms here. If you want to see me, who am I, guys? Auntie, Auntie Tay. Tay! You can check out our DIY channel over on Auntie Tay if you want to do that. Go ahead and click because subscribe. Because we're her daughters. Yeah, you have to be my fans. You're my daughters. <laughs> all right. We love you guys. Everyone do this together. Ready? Mwah! Mwah! 